Sir Ron, an electric dirt bike manufacturer known for selling good value for money products, is bringing a brand new offering for the 2023 model year. The upcoming Sir Ron Ultra B utilizes the brand's previous engineering achievements and introduces a variety of new and improved components. This middleweight off-road model received a revamped electric powertrain that consists of a permanent magnet synchronous motor and a 74-volt, 55-amp-hour lithium-ion battery pack. The powertrain generates 12.5 kilowatts of peak output and 325 pound-feet of peak torque. It also has four standard power modes, Sport, Daily, Eco, Reverse, and offers the top speed of 56 miles per hour. This model will also be using an improved battery pack structure with better discharge capabilities. It could cover the range of 85 miles at the continuous speed of 25 miles per hour. Once depleted, the battery could be recharged in four hours with a proprietary charger that is hidden underneath the bike seat. Thanks to the reworked forged aluminum chassis, this model boasts the curb weight of 187 pounds, while the overall carrying capacity is estimated at 220 pounds. The list of other improvements and innovations that this model can boast includes a refined off-road traction control and energy regeneration systems, fully adjustable front and rear suspension with 9.4 inches of travel, 19-inch wire-spoked wheels, 240-millimeter hydraulic disc brakes, and an LCD digital control dashboard. Soron Ultra B will start sales in the first quarter of 2023 in Europe and Canada, while the availability on the U.S. market is yet to be announced. This new electric vehicle packs some interesting specifications and exciting engineering solutions, but how does it compare to the other upcoming models, as well as those that are already available for purchase? Let's take a closer look. When released one year ago, Teleria Sting looked like yet another Soron look-alike with comparative specifications, a slightly improved riding experience, but a higher price tag. This product did attract some interest from the EV community, but most riders were not ready to give up their Sorons just yet. Despite the moderate success of their first product, Teleria's management actively collected feedback from dirt bike riders in order to bring a more polished and competitive product to the market. This is how Teleria Sting R was born. The upcoming Sting R boasts a significant power boost thanks to a new IPM motor with improved thermal efficiency and a reworked gearbox that now handles 5.5 kilowatts of output. The noticeable power improvements were also matched with a higher capacity battery pack. The base model is equipped with a 60-volt, 45-amp-hour battery pack that can be topped from 0 to 100% in 3 hours. The manufacturer suggests that you can ride for up to 75 miles with an average speed of 15 miles per hour. But considering that the bike's top speed is 52 miles per hour, most riders would deplete the battery at a much faster pace. The technical alterations did not only concern the powertrain components, since the model is now equipped with better front and rear suspension components, a stronger frame and swing arm, upgraded brakes with 230mm rotors and a four-level regen system, a chain that can withstand a power increase, and handlebars with improved ergonomics. RFN Ares Rally Pro is an upcoming electric dirt bike that features an innovative convertible system. This system enables you to switch between two seat units, thus making the two-wheeler suitable for either off-road riding down the dirt trails or competing in motorcycle trials. Considering the dual-purpose nature of this model, the manufacturer developed a powertrain with four levels of performance, suitable for certain types of environments and riding conditions. The aforementioned powertrain consists of a 5-kilowatt brushless motor and a removable 74-volt, 35-amp-hour battery pack. The pack consists of LG 21700 cells and could be recharged in 3 hours with the quick charge feature. In the highest power mode, the motor could generate 12.5 kilowatts and push this 150-pound bike to the top speed of 45 miles per hour, while the initial acceleration from 0 to 30 miles per hour takes just 3.2 seconds. The braking power comes courtesy of four piston hydraulic disc brakes front and rear. In terms of front suspension, Ares Rally Pro features an upside-down, fully adjustable fork with 200 mm of travel. The duties of the rear suspension are carried out by an adjustable monoshock with 74 mm of travel.
Mantis is a 150-pound electric dirt bike that was built to provide motocross-like performance and riding agility of a mountain bike. With a 7.5-kilowatt electric motor on board, this two-wheeler can generate 33 pound-feet of torque and sprint from 0 to 30 miles per hour in 1.9 seconds. Moreover, the Zippy acceleration will only stop once the limited speed of 52 miles per hour is reached. The power to the motor comes courtesy of a 60-volt, 35-amp-hour battery pack that is also swappable for your charging convenience. With this capacity, the motor could last for up to 81 miles of riding in the lowest power setting. Speaking of power settings, the powertrain has a tuned-down eco mode, a turbo mode for maximum performance, and a reverse mode in case you need to back out of a challenging trail situation. The standard equipment of the Mantis dirt bike also includes hydraulic disc brakes, an energy recovery system, a large LED control display, an adjustable suspension, and a maximum load capacity of 265 pounds. After having gained popularity as a manufacturer of high-performance electric scooters, Solar Scooters decided to use their acquired expertise in a completely new vehicle class. This year, the brand has announced their expansion to the lightweight e-bike segment. Solar Eclipse is based on a lightweight carbon fiber frame which helped getting the overall bike weight to just 138 pounds. The bike's electrifying performance comes courtesy of a mid-mounted PMSM motor and a removable 72-volt 45-amp-hour battery pack. The peak motor output is clocked at 8 kilowatts, which is enough to propel you to speeds up to 60 miles per hour. The manufacturer estimates that rides would last for up to 60 miles between charges. However, the presence of a high-speed 10-amp charger would get you back on the road in about 3 hours. To make this model equally suited for on- and off-road challenges, Solar Scooters equipped it with a fully adjustable KKE suspension, motorbike-grade hydraulic brakes with a regen feature, 19-inch wire-spoked wheels, and an IP67 water resistance rating. Other standard bike features include built-in lights and turn indicators, full-color LCD display, and a remote locking system with an alarm. Go Wow is an uprising electric dirt bike manufacturer from Asia that is set to compete with such market leaders as Cake Motorcycles, Soar Ron, and Zero Motorcycles. Their first model, Go Wow Ori, is characterized by a minimalist design approach and lightweight construction. The two wheeler is based on a twin spar composite frame and tips the scales at 160 pounds, including the battery. The bike's 73.8 volt, 38.4 amp hour battery module comprises 21 700 type cells and can provide up to 60 miles of riding range. The battery supports fast charging and needs 3.5 hours to restore 100% of its charge from a 220-volt power outlet. The power from the battery is consumed by a 9-kilowatt PMSM motor, letting you travel at speeds up to 60 miles per hour and put to use the immense torque output of 309 pound-feet. Considering the off-road nature of this model, the manufacturer equipped GoWow Ori with a 780-millimeter wide handlebar powerful brakes with four-piston calipers, a four-link rear suspension system, and a mobile app that could be used to adjust motor output according to your riding needs. When it comes to electric power sports niche, Soron remains one of the best value-for-money options. There are many uprising manufacturers that don't want to admit this fact and are working on bringing more options to the market to deal with Soron's domination. The F80 is a model that was specially designed to do just that. For the USA market, this model is offered in three modifications, street sport, dual sport, and off-road. However, the UK and European market only get dual sport and off-road versions. All versions are brought into motion by means of a chain-driven electric motor with 4 kilowatts of nominal, 8 kilowatts of peak output, and 191 pound-feet of torque. Considering the bike's weight, which is 176 pounds, this motor would be good for reaching the top speed of 52 miles per hour and climbing hills with a 40% slope. Depending on the chosen version, the bike will have a 72-volt battery with a 30, 32, or 48 amp-hour rating. 
This will be enough to cover distances up to 60 miles for the smallest battery and up to 90 miles for the largest capacity one. All batteries operate with the help of an oil cooling system, which improves the motor stability and lets quickly recharge the batteries. This process could take as little as three hours. Regardless of the chosen version, you get disc brakes, an adjustable suspension system, wire-spoked wheels, LED lights, and a digital control dashboard. After finally sorting out most of the production issues with Metacycles and delivering them to the rightful owners, Sondor's company started working on expanding their e-bike portfolio. This time, the brand will be trying its luck in the dual sport market segment and possibly trying to take on such market leaders as Zero FX or lightweight dirt bikes from Sir Ron and Teleria. According to preliminary data, Sondor's MetaBeast X will come with a bolstered chassis design and be suspended by a rear monoshock and an upside-down fork. The model will be rolling on a set of knobby off-road tires propelled by an 18-kilowatt electric motor. When hooked up to a fully charged 96-volt, 55-amp-hour battery pack, MetaBeast's motor would generate 44 pound-feet of torque, grant the 75-mile-per-hour top speed, and keep the good times going for up to 78 miles. Arctic Leopard is an upcoming electric dirt bike that was developed for the Asian market but may be brought to Europe and North America in the near future. The model is offered in a variety of performance modifications. The base EXT560 off-road bike is equipped with an electric motor with 10 kilowatts of peak output and 413 pound-feet torque indicator at the wheel. The motor could be paired with a 25 amp hour or this battery could give you 50 miles of riding at speeds up to 60 miles per hour. The brand's range-topping EXT800 off-road bike utilizes a 25-kilowatt electric motor and a 72-volt, 60-amp-hour battery pack, which could reportedly last for up to 125 miles. With this motor, you can sprint from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 3.5 seconds, while the top speed is 71 miles per hour. Arctic Leopard bikes are sold with two frame types, steel or titanium alloy. Depending on the chosen type, the bike's weight would be either 177 or 172 pounds. The bike suspension is represented by a 40mm fork with a 200mm stroke in the front and a rear shock with 230mm of stroke. Our team is working hard on bringing the latest and greatest news from the world of electric two-wheelers. If you'd like to support our efforts, please subscribe for further updates and feel free to share our work with your friends or request new overviews in the comment section below. Thanks once again and till next time.